Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Jer. Uh, he's the owner of the Vanigan that I uh, that we built in the shop. We're headed up. Uh, we're headed up to Portland, just outside of Portland, Maine. To pick up a Vanigan that I decided to buy. Uh, it's already been lifted and uh, has some extra parts with it. Uh, we're gonna go pick it up, and what better way to do it than in another lift of Vanigan? And <laughs> and we're cruising right now at 72 and an 89 Vanigan. It's just a Subaru engine in it, so it hauls ass. 73, 74. Uh, so we're gonna go probably stop at a brewery or something and grab some lunch and a beer. And, yep. Yep. And uh, make ourselves giddy. <laughs> and uh, drive a Vanigan back to the shop. We'll see if it makes it. Run and drive. Best thing know. about a Vanigan is if you do get a little tipsy, get a bed in the back. You got a bed in the back. See? Look at that. Yeah. Sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're almost there. We're, uh, we're headed to the brewery first. You know. Just gotta do. Uh, Alright. Show it to you when we get there. All right, Jared and I made it up here in his, uh, his rig here, as you can see behind me. This thing's pretty cool. And then that's the, uh, that's the one I bought. So we'll go check it out. Here she is. It's from down south. In pretty good shape. Oh, look at that. Fan works. We don't have to replace that. <laughs> Perfect. Let's check it out. Get in there. All right, here she is running. We're about to get in and head back down to my shop. See how she goes. Jerry's starting up his ride, ready to follow me. Put it back in the GPS. All right. We'll uh, get into it further when we get back to the shop, but there she is. All right, you ready, Jer? He's ready. We gotta go. All right, guys, we are headed down the highway at about 65, 70 miles an hour. Smell a little bit of oil. Sorry about the sound. Here, let's put the window up. It's pretty loud. Um, and this engine's hard mounted. Uh, it is a two liter GTI motor, so uh, the homemade mount, I'll change that out and report back to you guys. We get, I'm sure I'll get a video out there of that. Uh, I got Jer behind me. See him back there in his van. Uh, he's cruising along. He probably can go a lot faster than me, but uh, it vibrates so bad that. It gets real loud in here, so it's not as bad as the owner, the previous owner said, but yeah, here we are, just cruising along, drives nice, not a shake in the wheel, uh, beautiful day, got about another hour before we back to the shop, see how it goes, all right?
time and uh, we're back at the shop I don't see anything weird I smell a little bit of oil it definitely needs some new mounts on the engine it vibrates like crazy I don't know if you guys can hear that can you hear that yeah it vibrates a little bit definitely uh, some some things we're gonna need to fix so yeah so the trip went really well I, we made it back to the shop with no problems uh, it ran 70 miles an hour the whole time uh, it, 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 it drives pretty nice it's pretty smooth other than the mounts on the engine I uh, gotta put a different engine mount in there it's the engines actually upright it should be a horizontal uh, kicked over 15 degrees uh, we just got to get a different mount from like a, a diesel uh, a diesel vanigan and once we do that put some liquid filled motor mounts on it, it should solve the problem I already have one lined up uh, we'll uh, obviously get a video on that but again guys uh, it was a fun little trip up to Portland and uh, yeah I'll give you a quick walk around on the bus yeah so thanks, I've thanks. got it pulled in here I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around of this uh, it's in excellent shape we'll get it up on the left show you all the stuff the guy did to it uh, I think we're gonna be surprised and I'll show you the engine how they have it mounted and how we're gonna change it and that sort of thing all right, so let's get into this. Let's check it out. Woo! All right, up on the lift. We'll get it all the way up. We just want to check. You know, we got brand new brakes on the front, it looks like. Uh, really good shape. Brand new rotors. There's not even a lip on there. And we got brand new springs. And brand new shocks. Brand new fuel lines. This is All this is new. All done very well. You stainless steel braided brake lines here. Uh, the brake lines on this are original. This, like I said, this 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 uh, Vanigan's from down south. So we just got surface rust here, a little bit of surface rust there, but uh, she's pretty solid. Uh, the rockers are all good. The doors good. The seams are good. Uh, we got some. Uh, we got a typical uh, founded dent here. Tip, yep, very. I see this all the time on these, especially on the door. Uh, it's on the passenger side. You can't see out the window when you're taking a turn and there's something there. Boom. All right, to this wheel, we got, looks like we got new drums on the back. So all new brakes on the back. Same here, springs. Obviously it's lifted, so we have springs. We got Bilstein shocks and we don't get the cheap ones. We get the upgraded ones, uh, the off-road ones. And again, you can see the seams here are in excellent shape. Uh, it's, you know, there's a little bit of surface rust poking through. Uh, looks like it got banged there some point maybe when they did that found it dent uh, we got another little found it dent here this thing's pretty awesome we got a 700 dollars bumper on the back of this thing uh it's it's pretty stout it's got the two inch receiver hitch uh this is from uh, van cafe i've bought a lot from them for the vanning and build that i did on jared's bus which you met him uh in the beginning of the video uh it's got all led uh conversion and is done correctly it has all the relays that it's supposed to have for the led bulb so everything works uh, it does have the fast flasher for the turn signal. I'm not a big fan, but we're going to leave it. Uh, and to come around to the other side, same thing. Really solid. A little bit of surface rust there. Uh, you know, the, the paint's patinaed. I got my logo on the side. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this, this side's not dented, actually. So, oh, actually, we got one right there. It's not really a dent. It's just a little scratch. And that uh, we're going to make some rock sliders for the side of this like we did on uh, Jair's bus. Uh, so, the, yeah, they're going to be pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I, got, I got an idea putting a design on them. Uh, we got one hole here, which I'm surprised. That's uh, a rust hole, but we'll take care of that. It's a quick repair. And, again, we got, oh, we got brand new general grabber tires. I wish they were a little bigger. Uh, these are 215s, 7515s. Uh, you can actually run, I think you can run up to a two. 25 on these without any rubbing issues uh, you can go to a 235 but you got to do a few trimming you got to trim here a little bit here and a little you got to trim this uh, and then re-weld a piece into the control arm in the back right in here if you don't they rub that's where they'll rub but back here i don't think they'll actually rub at all maybe a little bit here no nah, they i don't i don't know uh, i do have a set of uh 31 inch tires sitting over here that uh <laughs> Of general grabbers, actually. I would love to put these on this, but I doubt they're going to fit. I mean, they're 10 inch wide. Let's see, what are they? They are, I think they're either nine and a half. Yeah, 10 fives. They, they're, they're way too big for this. Uh, we got the hella lights up front, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got a little uh, bang up right here. That's about it. The headlights are no good. I mean, they work. They work pretty good, 
the seals are shot in them. Uh, I do have a set. I did order a set of H4 conversion uh, headlights, uh, Hellas. Uh, I got a really smoking good deal on it. LED lights in here, and they get smoked out. We'll build a. I think what I'm gonna do is I want to build my own front bumper. You can buy them. Yeah, it saves time. Uh, it's not a money thing. I just rather build my own. We'll do a video on that. I'm building a custom front bumper. Maybe we can do a winch mount on it. That'd be pretty sick. Uh, anyways, let's get it up a little higher, and we'll see uh, what else we got going on. Earth. All right, we got her all the way up. Let's start at the front. No spare tire. <laughs> uh, I noticed uh, brand new front radiator, fan, hoses. Uh, we got everything new in here. We even have new heater hoses. We got new radiator hoses, which those are really hard to track down. We got the stainless steel uh, lines that go all the way back, the hard lines that go all the way back to the engine. Uh, those are really actually pretty expensive and they're not the easiest to install. Uh, here's a look at the front suspension. We got brand new tie rods, ball joints, upper and lower. Uh, we got poly uh, uh, sway bar bushings and uh, new sway bar bushings here. It looks like we got new bushings here. Yep, those are brand new. Got There's those Bilsteins with the new springs. We'll go over to the other side, same thing. We got bushings. Man, this thing is like brand new in the front. Ball joints, these are a pain to do on the bottom too uh it looks like we got new bushings up top too i didn't notice that but those are those are all new up there right there uh i just noticed that uh same new shocks we're gonna follow this back what else we got uh we got a brand new fuel pump this needs a new line you see it's cracked right there if you look real close that's a that's a failure waiting to happen. I actually put this on. I put it up on the lift. I was driving it around and I noticed this. I had to put a little thing on here. It was kind of wedged and this was pinched really bad. So fix that real quick. Yeah, I've been under here before. I know. Uh, we got new fuel line going back here. Here these here's these hard lines again. Uh, I don't know if he put them on there or somebody else did when they did the engine conversion. But it looks like we got a new mount on the transmission poly mount. And nothing over here. Well, we got a new fuel line here into the old hard line, which is totally fine. You get a fuel line off the fuel tank. The fuel tank hasn't leaked on me yet. They're notorious for leaking on the top up there where the uh, fill is. But let's follow this back. See what's here's these new heater hoses. Follow us back here. Here's our new Bilstein shocks, like brand new. Uh, we got uh, new springs. It needs new CV shafts, but again, he gave me the 944 uh, CV uh, axles. So we're going to replace those. Do a video on that too. Obviously, here's the, uh, this is the 2.0 ABA engine. Like I said, it should be kicked over 50 degrees. And you can see these mounts are horrible. This is a really hard, like almost polyurethane. I don't, it's hard as a rock. They are rubber, but man. This is a terrible setup and it's kind of crudely done. It doesn't really, up in here, it doesn't really line up well. You can see that it's just not straight. Uh, the exhaust is okay, it's got a nice header on it, but again, we come over here to this side, this side's pretty crudely done as well. I mean, it's all right for a home job if you're just cruising along, but on long trips, around town it's okay. Long trips, this thing is just a vibrating machine here. Uh, so I got some, We'll see if I can reuse this mount. Uh, hopefully we can reuse this. I think we can reuse this part of it and make it, make this better. See where this kind of has the space. It shouldn't have so much space. Maybe I can, and it's even pulling on these. It's pulling pretty hard on the bottom of these. This should have some bigger washers. Uh, this just needs to be done correctly. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so maybe we can get some mounts under that. And we're going to, like I said, tilt this. It needs a different oil pan, oil pickup and obviously different mounts. And it has an oil leak. The valve cover leaks a little, I mean, the oil pan leaks. The valve cover was leaking. I already did repair that. I didn't do a video. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there on uh, ABA two liter valve cover uh, changes. It doesn't take that long. It took me probably 30 minutes to do the change. And it was leaking pretty badly, which it was dripping down the engine here and back on the exhaust. And it was coming up in the cab because you'll see how this is made. It's not. 
it's not the best job. Uh, it's not the way I would have done it. And you lose a lot of space the way they have it up vertical. But this is the mounting bracket they use. You can see there's plenty of different spots in it for uh, it to be at a different angle. So you don't change this part of it. That's actually where the engine goes. You can see this is the other side of the engine block here. You just twist this so where it mounts here. So that's your difference here. So then you undo these bolts here that hold it into the uh, transmission and you slut and you spin it. So we'll spin it this way, kind of spin it that way so that it lines up. I believe the 50 degree mark is right here. This one, oh wait, yeah, this might be, I think this is the 15. It might be at 15 now. It is on a slight angle if you look at it. It's kind of kicked over a tiny bit. That might be at 15 now, and then this is your 50. I'm pretty sure this is the 50 here. I gotta look it up. Uh, it may be this one, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. This is your zero. Yeah, it's at 15 degrees now. It's not enough because you can't close the top of the engine lid. And you'll see once we get up there. So let's go check out that now. See what uh, we got to do. All right, this is the setup we have. You see this diamond plate? It's probably about six inches high. You don't need to have that. And you can't lay the bed flat. The only reason why they did that, and this is kind of the home setup that they have, the plywood, and it's not the best way to do it. Uh, that's not very heat resistant uh, but here's the two liter in here it's uh, the engines in excellent shape uh, when I had the valve cover off I couldn't believe the uh, the cams would look brand new maybe I'll put a street cam in it get a little more torque out of it I don't know if it's worth it but I, I just some of these things are just kind of sketchy that not sketchy but some of these things just aren't done it, it needs to be kicked over and there's some things that need to be cleaned up. This needs to be lowered down. Obviously it's up too high. You want to be able to put the engine lid back over. It's a lot quieter. And again, you can actually put the pad in the back so you can actually use the bed. They put a bed in it, but you can't use it. Pretty straightforward what we got going on here. Uh, the computer and everything for the, the ABA swap is actually behind the wall here. You see it sitting right there. So they ran the wires. The wiring looks like it's done really well. Uh, it's got all ton of new parts in it. Tune-up parts, wires, uh, cap and rotor looked good. And uh, yeah, so we just had to change a few things. I got to get an oil pan from a 1.6 liter diesel and a pickup tube from the same thing because once it's kicked over, the pickup tube that's in the 2 liter won't work. Uh, just it sticks over too far and it ends up being too high as it's kicked over so it doesn't get enough oil. It, it's in great shape. It's very rust free. I'm very happy with it. It drives nice. Literally, the only thing I have to do right now is flip this engine on its on its side, 50 degrees over, and she should be a good running, run, really good running vehicle. My wife's really happy about it. Actually, uh, she's more excited about this than like me getting a 911 or another BMW. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> So we won't get into that. But yeah, so that's really excited about this. So guys, make sure you follow along with this one. This is gonna be a fun little build. Uh, we're gonna get you know the camper and then I got uh, some ideas, maybe a tent top carrier. I mean, a, a pop tent for the top, not the van, not the Vanagon type, the West Ophelia type. I'm just gonna put a rooftop tent on it. I think that's gonna be killer on this thing. Uh, and I don't have to cut any holes, that sort of thing and make this all back here work. So follow along guys, and thanks so much for watching. This was just a quick video, fun one, just taking a road trip, bringing a car back, and we're gonna get into this soon. Uh, we got some more stuff coming up, but if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Uh, and also give me a thumbs up, they like, you know, the algorithms like all that. But uh, again, thanks so much for watching, and hey, sorry it's been so long for the video. Uh, a lot of family stuff going on, a lot of crazy stuff going on, we just have a time, so. Alright guys, until next time, take care. Bye. Bye.